Here's another type of optical illusion. I'll show you how to do. We're gonna add color to that. But when you first start, basically hold it however you'd like. You're gonna take big bites at first and then you're gonna get smaller and smaller. So first thing is that I'm gonna find a corner that I like to start with. I'm gonna start at this corner. I have it right at the corner here and then I bring it in from the corner here. And again, like I said, a big bite. line okay then I'm gonna go from where this line meets the edge of the paper I'm gonna make that my corner and I'm gonna take a big bite okay I'm gonna go to where the line meets the edge of the paper again take another big bite where the line meets the edge of the paper big bite Okay, now from where this corner meets this line, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller bite than the one before it. And so on. Still corner and a bigger bite at the bottom. It's basically just a really long triangle and you go from where it meets your line Okay, now a smaller bite. So this one's about an inch and a quarter. Maybe I do an inch for this one. So progressively smaller bites as you go. Make sure that that line's connected there. And it starts making spirals, basically. smaller bite still. So see how it's getting big, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And you just keep working your way around doing a long skinny triangle each time. until you get to the center. Now, those are pretty similar. I'm not entirely in love with that one. But again, is it going to matter in the long run? Probably not. And this is a process that you're doing. So nothing has to be perfect. It's kind of a relaxing process to just focus on where's my line where's my next line and you just keep working around keep working around so it's not supposed to be stressful you're creating something bit smaller bites each time. Now, I will say, once you get to the center portion, if you're using a big marker, it might be kind of a challenge and if you need a smaller marker you can switch it's not a big deal now I went a little over there again not too crazy about that but is it going to actually 
be the end of the world. No, it's not. It's okay. So we are going for visual movement. There are lots of different ways to create movement in art, whether it's a pop-up page like we did for the first page, or whether it is optical visual movement. So this is off art, essentially like optical illusions and things that have the illusion of motion, things that mess with your brain and make you think that they have motion. There are lots of different ways to do it. There are so many things that you can find on YouTube and tutorials all over the place. So this last little spot, I'm going to color in, like it's spiraling down there. And when we add color to these, what I like to do is I like to start with a dark value in the center and work my way out. So blues and purples tend to be the darkest values on the color wheel. So maybe I want to go get this first layer with that value. I'm going to do another one, but lighten up my um, pencil a little bit. And then go dark. <laughs> dark enough to break my pencil. <laughs> oh, that is typical, isn't it? I'm not going to worry about that. I don't think I have a second one. Maybe I can just blend my colors together. That's what I'm doing. Just for the sake of the video. Again, like things happen. It's okay. I'm going to lighten up my value a little bit just so that I've got slightly lighter blue. And I'm honestly going to work my way through the color wheel. Um, going from violet to blue to green. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a little iffy. Get some blue-green by mixing blue and green. I'm going to mix my, i uh, got a nice Prismacolor here. Um, I'm going to do dark I was essentially just coloring each level So I'm trying to keep my craftsmanship nice and steady. Which I want to keep it nice and clean. So that is very green. I'm going to take this blue prism of color and I'm going to blend to get my blue green. I'm absolutely in love with that actually, but they want in. Okay. Got it. Momentum working for it. Work your way up. <laughs> 